okay this is the third part of the optics image formation very interesting topic and very important in exam it it is basically 10 to 20 marks of the uh, optics okay now we will do with the convex lens all the six cases the first case is object beyond 2f object at 2f object between f and 2f object at f object between f and lens and object at infinity we will do we will uh, we will do all the cases one by one case number one object beyond 2f so when in exam you need to make any figure always remember make a convex lens like this make a center line this is this is your center line okay and mark o optical point then mark f and 2f always remember the distance this distance suppose if it is 2 cm this distance so this distance will be 4 cm f and 2f okay please the distance is very important if you will not measure it it will not give you the correct image okay now so we will do at the both sides now the first case is object beyond 2f so what where i have kept the image beyond 2f okay now i'm just measuring every drawing this images with the help of this ruler here just look now so the first rule if there is an object the first rule is the line will be parallel to the principal axis this line is parallel to the principal axis and this will pass through focus okay so i'm passing this line through focus like this okay what is the second rule second rule is very important what was the second rule any ray which is passing through optical center so this is this is the ray which is passing through the optical center will pass as it is okay it is passing as it is like this okay and the third rule was the if we pass from the focal point okay i'll show you here oh, what is happening okay so the third is any ray which is passing through the focal point it will be parallel to the principal axis okay these are all the three rules so i'm just putting the arrow like this and these are the arrows okay and now where the image is formed this this is your image all the three rules i have applied this is the image now see here why i'm saying you need to make everything with the ruler so first of all when you are doing the the image formation there it's not necessary to apply all the three rules we will just apply the two rules the starting two rules the first rule the passing through the principal axis and passing through the focus the second is from the optical center okay we will just do the two rules and the correct image will be formed i've just shown in the first one so that you know how to do the image formation now how to write okay there are two things first of all i'm describing the image now first of all this is your object and this is your image so we need to ev we need to mark everything object and image so what where is the image now between f and 2f so the first point is the image is between f and 2f this is the image okay second is the image is basically smaller smaller from the object can you see the object is bigger and this image is smaller so i will write smaller in size so when i am saying smaller that means in image formation we say it is diminished diminished or magnifying if it is larger then it is magnifying if it is smaller then it is diminished okay now always 
when the image is formed on other side of the lens that means it is a real image when it is formed on the other side of the lens real and inverted you can see the object is like this and the image is like this okay so we can say the image is real and inverted so this is the description of the image that means the image is formed between f and 2f diminished in size real and inverted okay so this is the first case now we will discuss the another case object at 2f let us see so please draw each and everything otherwise you will be confused so now for object at 2f so the first rule what was the first rule it's very simple okay sorry let me close it okay the first rule is we will we will pass through the the any ray which is parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focus like this okay so this is the first rule second rule any ray which is okay I'm just passing this ray to optical center. Okay, this ray where it will meet. Okay, so let us see. So this ray will meet somewhere at two F. so this is basically 2f okay so this is my second rule here now what what is the description of image i i'm writing the description of image object at 2f so the image will be at 2f the image is real and inverted okay real because it is on the other side of the lens inverted because image object and image are in opposite direction and third one if we will see it the object and image are same size same in size so no magnified no no diminished image they are the same size okay so this is my second case object at 2f now the third one object between f and 2f you can place any object between f and 2f okay i'm doing the first again the first rule very simple any ray which is parallel to the principal axis will pass through focus any ray w again the another one will be from the optical center and i'm just extending it it is extended and it is coming here so this is in this direction this is in this direction this is in this direction so they are meeting here let us see they are meeting here let us draw an image here okay this is my image let's extend the principal axis this is a principal axis now i am writing here this is an object it is an image what can i write description of image now can you tell me so this image is on the other side now first of all i will write between where it is so it is images beyond 2f second point obviously real because it is on the other side of the lens and inverted because they are in opposite direction the third one is magnified you can see this the image is very enlarged from the object so magnified or enlarged image okay so is this clear to you next one object at f 
okay let us see where the image will be formed the first one simple any ray which is parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focal point and the another one any ray now it will pass through the optical center and will go like this can you see now this this thing will never meet these two rays will never 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 ever meet okay so what will happen now when we put the object at f the case number 4 now we will see where they are meeting if we are extending the line on the other side okay let's extend the line here i'm extending the line on here and let us extend the line line here okay so you can see these two will meet somewhere because they are not very parallel to each other but we don't know where they are going to meet so let us say they are going like like very far so when the image will go very very far so what will be the description of the image so image will be formed at infinity that means infinity means it's basically we can measure the we can measure the distance but the thing is it will be very very far so right now see we cannot measure it 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 will go meet somewhere but we don't know where so it will be very far so the image at infinity now the image will be highly magnified okay and now because it is on the same side of the lens so it will be virtual okay virtual and it will not be inverted the same side so it will be a virtual image okay when the object at f now object between f and lens so you can say suppose this is an object and it will be between f and lens let us see where the image will be formed so what we will do again any ray which is parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focus point like this it is passing through and another one is it when it goes through the optical point it will go like this okay again you can see the image are not meeting anywhere somewhere here so we will just extend the image on the opposite direction i'm extending the image like this and extending the image like this so these image are meeting somewhere here these points are meeting somewhere here so i am drawing a image here and i am just mentioning this is my object and this is my image can you write the description now what will be the description of image first of all i will write on the same side of the object okay and because if it is on the same side that means it is not a real image it is a virtual image okay and virtual image and erected okay it's not inverted it's erected and you can see the image is very large from the object so i will write here magnified or enlarged image okay so this is a description of the image now the last case is object at infinity suppose there is an object which is at infinity 
infinity means i explained you infinity means the object is extremely very far so i am not drawing the object here suppose you can see it is very very far from 2f anywhere anywhere beyond this okay but it is very far so i cannot draw the object so what will happen we will just draw the parallel ray to the principal axis and it will go pass through the focus like this we'll draw the we will draw the parallel ray it will go pass it will go pass through the focus let me pass through the focus okay so it will pass through the focus so what will happen to the image where is the image now so when when it is image at infinity so image will be formed at focus real image inverted image and highly diminished okay it will be so i can write image is formed at f second is it will be real image because it will be at the other side of the but it will always be inverted image and the another one is highly diminished highly diminished means small in size okay so these these are the cases when uh, six cases for the convex lens when we talk about the concave lens always remember the image will be virtual and erected anywhere suppose suppose let us take an example between f and 2f what will happen the ray is easier it will get diverged okay and another will be another will be pass through optical center right this is passing through optical center so what will happen it will it will meet if we extend it it will meet somewhere here so this will be your image always remember the image will be virtual and erected image okay there are no six cases in concave lens it will be depend diminish magnifying that is a different story but the thing is always virtual and erected image in concave lens okay so in convex lens there are six cases but in con concave lens there is only one case so these are all the cases for the convex lens please remember the graph will be given to you you need to draw everything on the graph okay thank you so much